Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that Use matrix theory to examine the following system of equations for consistency or inconsistency A. 4x plus 6y is equal to 9 2x plus 3y is equal to 11 B. x minus 2y is equal to 5 2x minus 4y is equal to 10 if we are given two simultaneous equations in two variables x and y that is a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 then these system of equations can be written in the matrix form as ax is equal to b where a is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix containing elements a1, a2, b1, b2 X is the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements X, Y and B is the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements C1, C2 Then if a joint of A into B is not equal to 0 then the system of equations is inconsistent and has no solution And if a joint of A into B is equal to 0, then the system of equations is consistent and has infinite number of solutions. With this key idea, we shall proceed with the solution. We are given the following system of equations that is 4x plus 6y is equal to 9 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 11. Now representing the system of equations by the matrix equation x is equal to b we have 2 by 2 matrix containing elements 4, 2, 6, 3 into 2 by 1 matrix containing elements x, y is equal to the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 9, 11 where a is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix containing elements 4, 2, 6, 3 X is the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements X, Y and B is the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 9, 11 and determinant of A is given by 4 into 3 that is 12 minus of 2 into 6 that is 12 which is equal to 0 now determinant of A is equal to 0 Therefore, A is singular Therefore, either the system has no solution or an infinite number of solutions Now we find a joint of A into B A is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix containing elements 4, 2, 6, 3 and we can find the adjoint of A by interchanging the entries on the leading diagonal and changing the sign of the entries on the other diagonal 
सो एट ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू दी टू बाय टू मेट्रिक्स कंटेनिंग एलिमेंट्स थ्री माइनस टू माइनस सिक्स फोर दे फोर एट ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए इन टू बी इज इक्वल टू एट ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए इज दी टू बाय टू मेट्रिक्स कंटेनिंग एलिमेंट्स थ्री माइनस टू माइनस सिक्स फोर and b is given by the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 9 11 that is 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 9 11 at joint of a is a 2 by 2 matrix and b is a 2 by 1 matrix so the resultant multiplicand will be a 2 by 1 matrix given by 3 into 9 plus minus of 6 into 11 Minus two into nine plus four into eleven, which is equal to the two by one matrix containing elements twenty seven minus sixty six minus eighteen plus forty four, which is equal to the two by one matrix containing elements minus thirty nine twenty six. Which is not equal to zero. Therefore, a joint of A into B is not equal to zero. And from the key idea, we know that if a joint of A into B is not equal to zero, then the system of equations is inconsistent and has no solution. Therefore, the given system of equations. is inconsistent and has no solution we have another system of equations that is x minus 2y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 4y is equal to 10 we mark the equation x minus 2y is equal to 5 as 1 and 2x minus 4y is equal to 10 as 2 now representing the system by the matrix equation x is equal to b we have a 2 by 2 matrix containing elements 1 2 -2 -4 into 2 by 1 matrix containing elements x y is equal to 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 5 10 where a is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix containing elements 1 2 Minus two minus four. X is the two by one matrix containing elements x y, and B is the two by one matrix containing elements five ten. Now determinant of A is given by one into minus four that is minus four minus of two into minus two that is minus four, which is equal to minus four plus four. That is zero. So determinant of A is equal to zero. Therefore, A is singular. Therefore, either the given system has no solution. or an infinite number of solutions now we find a joint of a into b 
and A is given by the 2 by 2 matrix containing elements 1, 2, minus 2, minus 4 and we can obtain the adjoint of A by interchanging the entries on the leading diagonal and changing the sign of the entries on the other diagonal. So a joint of A is given by the 2 by 2 matrix containing elements minus 4, minus 2, 2, 1. Therefore, a joint of A into B is given by the 2 by 2 matrix minus 4, minus 2, 2, 1 into B and B is given by the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 5, 10 that is 2 by 1 matrix containing elements 5, 10 now a joint of A is a 2 by 2 matrix and B is a 2 by 1 matrix so the resultant multiplicand will be 2 by 1 matrix containing elements minus 4 into 5 plus 2 into 10 minus 2 into 5 plus 1 into 10 which is equal to the 2 by 1 matrix containing elements minus 20 plus 20 minus 10 plus 10 which is equal to the 2 by 1 matrix containing element 0, 0 that is 0 so a joint of A into B is equal to 0 and from the key idea we know that if a joint of A into B is equal to 0 then the system of equations is consistent and has infinite number of solutions therefore the given system of equations is consistent and has infinite number of solutions now put y is equal to k in the first equation the first equation is x minus 2y is equal to 5 so we have x minus 2k is equal to 5 which implies that x is equal to 5 plus 2k now putting the values of x and y In equation 2, we get equation 2 is 2x minus 4y is equal to 10. So we have 2 into x that is 5 plus 2k minus 4y that is minus 4k is equal to 10 which implies that 2 into 5 that is 10 plus 2 into 2k that is 4k minus of 4k is equal to 10 which implies that 10 is equal to 10 which is true hence the given system of equations has infinite number of solutions given by x is equal to 5 plus 2k and y is equal to k which is the required answer this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session